Herbert Paul Grice on Conversational Implicature, Part 1. A conversational implicature is something that a speaker implies in a spoken message that is not literally stated. And that's a symbol meaning implicates. And note a distinction between implicates and implies. Because implies deals with certain logical deduction, but implicates deals more with induction and things that are not certain. For example, the paper is white implicates that the paper is completely white, although this might not be the case and may not be true. The British philosopher Herbert Paul Rice thought that all conversational implicature can never logically be assumed as truthful, thus all conversational implicature should be cancelled, and in spoken language only the literal meaning of words is to be logically assumed as true. And this is an interesting fact because it means you can never logically deduce anything from speech and this goes against the traditional intuitive idea that speech is more pure than writing because in a way writing has, high, has greater expressive capability than speech although you may argue from the Wittgensteinian view that in situations of linguistic ambiguity it's more useful to have speech rather than language and I would personally say that they, speech and writing can actually coexist, and it doesn't necessarily have to be an either-or situation between the two. And Grice thought that conversational implicature arose from people expecting conversation to conform to certain maxims, which he termed the maxims of conversation. And the following are the maxims of conversation, which you may notice is similar to Kant's categories of the pure understanding of quality, quantity, relation, and modality. And the maxim of quality. Try to make your contribution one that is true. Specifically, do not say what you believe to be false. Do not say that for which you lack adequate evidence. The maxim of quantity. Make your contribution as informative as is required for the current purposes of the exchange. Do not make your contribution more informative than is required. And you can see that some of these laws mirror other philosophical principles in history, like the maxim of quality, the one and two are quite similar to Plato's justified true belief, because you can, it says try to make one that's true, and that's the truth and justified true belief, and do not say what you believe to be false, which is the belief part, and lacking adequate evidence is the justification bit. And the do not make your contribution more informative than is required is obviously Occam's razor, which says that entities should not be multiplied upon which they're upon entities should not be multiplied more than the necessary amount. And basically you shouldn't say too much and be too informative. The maxim of relation relevance, your contribution should be relevant. So if you say something irrelevant that seems relevant there might exist some conversational implicature where the person listening will interpret is will interpret it as something that has relevance to the conversation if you in, even if you intended it to be irrelevant the maxim of manner you should be per, perspicuous and specifically you should avoid obscurity or lexical ambiguity and yeah avoid ambiguity and be brief and avoid unnecessary prolixity or verbosity, which is similar to the second aspect of the maxim of quantity. And be order. You should structure your thoughts clearly and shouldn't make them too confusing 